You want the experience comic culture and sales. Streaming live daily to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. Happy Tuesday, everybody. James the Men Hunter Comics here as a guest on the Experience YouTube channel. Got a typical Tuesday claim sale here for you. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight boxes, eight short boxes packed to the gills. Obviously, we're not going to get to it, but just goes to show you we got a little bit of everything. So let's get to it after the intro. <laughs> Probably the most important thing, order of business, uh, two things. Um, a couple people only had like a couple claims from the uh, weekend show. So I basically sent out an email like, hey, there's a lot of you that didn't make it to uh, the 10%. So hopefully some of you are in there and are able to add to your pile. But admittedly, I'm actually behind on shipping. That is very rare for Mint Hunter Comics, but stuff's been a little crazy. Almost just cursed. I forget the rules with that. Um, it's been a little wild over here. I'm juggling a lot. We're doing a grand opening of the antique shop very soon. So I've been pushing and pushing to get that ready. Um, so there's a lot of you that still have piles that I haven't shipped from the weekend. So Add to it tonight, and you know what? You're not going to get double charged for shipping. So go ahead, add to your piles. Uh, a lot of you are going to be getting invoices with no shipping charge, or if you get into like a bigger box territory, you might see a small, small shipping upcharge. Okay. So I'm sorry, I usually do ship next day for my weekend and my Tuesday shows. I'm just running a little couple days behind here. Uh, so I apologize, but it actually works in your favor a little bit. First off, we got Spider-Man The Lost Years number one is the key. Uh, what's it, Ben Riley's girlfriend. And I have had this book for a while, and I didn't want to sell it because I knew I had a two and three floating around somewhere. I found them. So two and three will be free. Get yourself the full run of Spider-Man The Lost Years. Number one is the key, but it is the full run. I have one of these still sealed comic book packs from the 80s. Looks like a Wonder Woman George Perez run. Still sealed. Super awesome. $20 on that on G. I have the full run of Robin and Batman. It's a three issue arc. I have every last one. Uh, Jeff Lemire, although someone just told me it's pronounced Lemire. I don't know if I'll ever be able to do that. My brain, that's Jeff Lemire. There you go. You're going to see a couple full runs today. I do have the full run of Monkey Meat. That is a five issue, or maybe even a six, I forget. Uh, and I have every last issue there, fully accounted for. I'm getting a lot of full runs in here, like... The Lethal Foes of Spider-Man. Every last issue fully accounted for. All new, double bagged, double boarded. You know how I work. Uh, then we have Peter Parker, Spider-Man, number 91, which is the first appearance of Dusk. And this, look how perfect this was. I actually happen to have a dusk number one. So I went ahead and made a bundle of the two. It's going to be on B, C, or not C, but yes, C went to Nope, H goes to Wilds. And Mr. Nope, I'll be adding to your already existing pile. I'm two days behind on my shipping, which means everything you get tonight shouldn't have a shipping increase unless you end up getting like a crazy, crazy amount. Um, uh, and then 
whoever just got that other one, I do have a full run of the Deadly Foes of Spider-Man. So we got we got bundles today. That's for sure. So that's going to be us. Uh, Scarlet Spider 1 and 2. It's actually a two-part. It's just a two-parter. I have both. And I will say that this is all from the same collector. Do you guys remember I drop videos once in a while? Every few months I get books from this guy. I'm slowly buying his whole collection. Well, this is from him. So these are like really crispy, crispy, clean stuff. There you go, Mr. Neely. No extra shipping charge. What's up, Phil? Looks like another bundle here. Um, I have Spider-Man The Final Adventure. Full run of that as well on C. Guys, the big one up there is A. That is the full bundle on A. Just book number one, which is a very hot book, is $10. So that's a, that's a win. Grab it up. Grab it up, grab it up, grab it up. More from the same guy, Spider-Man The Arachnus Project. I think that's an eight-part series right there. I've got all of it. Same guy. On e. Yeah, this is a Target special right here. Funny thing is, Joe from 360 Comics has the same shirt. It's like the shirt to have, man. All right, this is really cool. DC Four Star Spectacular from the 70s. One, two, three, and four. And they're actually giant size specials, so these are thick, thick books. Um, so I have the full set there. 70s run right there for 20. I think that is uh, pretty under, if you ask me. That's okay. A full run of Infinite Frontier. If you missed that, that'll be a 20. Two shoes, two G. Full run of Dark Crisis. Uh, there are actually a decent number of keys in here. That'll be on... G. Uh, two shoes also got J. Nothing on J. Uh, but two shoes to get H. Awesome. <laughs> uh, you know what? It counts as a bundle. Holy crap, though. Uh, yeah, I have a full run of Punisher. This one's a little price difference between this and what I've been putting up, but that is worth every penny. Uh, 200 very clean copies. Uh, there might be one or two in there that's a full near minty. That'll be on A. Then I have the Massive Civil War Bundle. Now, this is more than just Civil War. There's spinoffs, there's variants and stuff in here. This thing is fully loaded. That is your fully loaded Civil War version of the thing. Full run of, oh, I don't have a price on that. Sorry. Uh, let me put a price on that. I'll make it cheap. Full run of the flyer storyline. Why don't we make that eight bucks? Three part arc. It's all there for eight. And I'll do the same thing with the faith story arc. A 
make that an eight or two. On the back here, a uh, full run of Deadly Neighborhood Spider-Man. I think this thing's like super, super recent. Deadly Neighborhood Spidey, an F. So we have the first appearance of Dusk on the back. I also have a Dusk number one. Those of you just coming in, full run of Spider-Man, the final adventure, every last issue. Full run of Monkey Meat, full run of Arachnus Project, full run of the original Punisher. Uh, Five-part series, full run of Deadly Neighborhood Spider-Man, full run and lots of bonuses and variants of Civil War, full run of Flyer, full run of Faith. And I'm going to give you guys a big one to chew on. Where is it? Here it is. This, unfortunately, is so fat and so heavy, it's not even going to fit on the wall. Dark Knight's Metal with all the Batman tie-ins. So like First Red Death, uh, Batman the Drown, all that stuff is in there. Uh, that is an epic, epic bundle, which by the way, um, there were ones of these selling for actually stupid amounts. I saw stuff north of four and even $500 on eBay for pricing all this total. So. It is not lost on me that that is the best price you will find of that bundle. Uh, Salacious Crumb, which is an awesome username, by the way, is going to get the Civil War bundle. Salacious, just make sure you fill out that link. First name, last name, username, all that good stuff. I'm going to be invoicing you right after the sale. Make sure you pay tonight. That way I can get you shipped. First thing tomorrow morning, okay, mate? Salacious Crumb. And Mr. Producer Man, if we could drop the link for Salacious one more time. I know it's pinned to the top of the chat. Some people do miss that, though, I think. Uh, Brian's going to get G. Okay. Brian, I'm actually going to start a short box for you, mate. And here is your pile. From the other day. And that was a respectable pile there. All right, cool. Uh, nope gets IJ. All right, next up, let me keep going with the bundles. A full run of Grendel versus the Shadow. Every last issue, near mint. There you go. And that perfectly gets to be on G for Grendel. Um, first appearance of the twins that turn into parasites. Here's their cameo, and here's the ones where they actually turn into parasites. H. And you know what? You might be interested in this too, Brian. Full run of death metal, including the first appearance of Yara Floor, first Robin King, and so much more. Another bundle worth about three, four hundred dollars that I'm doing for one hundred. You're welcome. You guys are homies. Sometimes that happens. If I get a really good deal on something, I pay it forward. That's what's happening here. Astro is going to get G. Let's roll. We get some uh, clearing of the top row. That would be great. Uh, then we just, this is just considered iconic covers and classic stuff. So, we have 41 and 40, the Batman Spectre two-part team-up issue. That's just going to be 10 on I. Let's see if I have any more bundles floating around for you. Oh, here's a fat one. Uh, the full run of the Irredeemable Ant-Man, including the first appearance of the third Ant-Man. I forget his name, but there it is. $30 for that sucker right there. Another great price. 
And this is, it's kind of hard to tell, but that is, hold on, make room. That is technically on G. It doesn't, it's too heavy to go on the wall, but that's what that is. Really swoop that up. The Batman who frogs. What? I'm so confused. All right. Um, Spider Man Maximum Clonage Alpha and Omega. It just occurred to me that there is no price on that. So let's pop. on there. There you go. And I and I'll go over what we have one more time. Full run of the Arachnus Project. All eight issues, or might even be more than eight. Full run of Monkey Meat. Full run of the Final Adventure. First appearance of Dusk and a Dusk number one on the back. Full run of every last death metal issue that exists. Deadly Neighborhood Spider-Man full run. Full run of the Parasite Twins, full run of Maximum Clonage, full run of Irredeemable Ant-Man. If I didn't mention it, that's the winner on the wall, the $200 Punisher. Uh, Crimson Terror is going to get I. That was, that was an old I claim. That was an old I claim. It's like, the Batman who frags, I... That's awesome. I did. I don't know about that, so that's cool. Um, why don't we give that wall a, another minute or so, and then we'll clear it. I am. I love clearing bundles for obvious reasons. It clears up so much space. So, um, I'm definitely going to lead with the bundles, and then we're going to get back into the walls. Where's my phone? Hey Siri, start a timer for 60 seconds. All right, you guys have 50 seconds, looks like. Um, if anyone wants to like make an offer on anything, like if you want to get C and E and B, you can throw me an offer. I will I will listen. I won't necessarily take it, but I'll listen. I got prices uh, pretty slashed to the bone here, so we'll see. Although I got to tell you, Mr. Obsessed Collector, I would love to give you that full run of death metal since you got the metal. It just makes sense to hand that to you, buddy. In fact, Brian, if you get G, I'll, I'll give you a free book. That's how bad I want that to go to you. And it'll be a, it'll be a decent book. Uh, Mill Skills, that is the full series. Wow, that's actually pretty sweet. Just goes to show you how um, far behind I am on my reading. Brian's going to scoop that up. All right, let's find a free book for Brian. I know that Brian likes Bronze Age, so let's see what we can do for him. Uh, I'm going to give him a couple things. Let's see. Damn, what is this box? All right. Here's what I'm going to do for you, Brian. You're going to get a Star Spangled War, a Cole the Destroyer, and a Batman Family Giant book all for free. Uh, Mill Skills, make it 180. Give me that extra five bucks. It's a really good deal, mate. I'm kind of assuming you will, so I'm going to get a pot of starting for you. Let's see.
is reload skills. And you got A. One eighty. Lock on. Okay. Um. Awesome. Okay. Please email with payment instructions. Uh, guys, let's do a reminder on how payment works. You just fill out this link right there. You put your name, your address, all that good stuff. I'm invoicing you after the show. All right, let's take our bundles down. Do I even have a price on this? Yes. All right, guys, I, I'm only going to show you the first book, but I do have a full run of Ren and Stimpy. It's $200. That's a, a fat sucker. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of books. It's down here. All right. Uh, first appearance of first and second appearance, which includes cover appearance of Echo. Near Minty Fresh. These books, uh, they could go all the way. They're that clean if you were a grader. Dark Horse, Full Runs of Predator, Big Game. I have two. String so long. Right. Full run of resistance uprising. It's a six part arc. It is missing a sticker. Any resistance fans out there? Uh, we'll just make that twelve dollars. Bam. Okay, let's see. Full run of Captain Action number one. Fun fact, there's actually two copies of number one here. Two copies of number one, two, three, and five. So basically, you're just paying for two copies of the first issue. I also have, and pay attention to this, this is kind of similar. First appearance of Captain Savage and the Red and the Leatherneck Raiders. There are once again two copies of number one. There's also 19, 18, 12, 11, 10, three copies of eight, one copy of six, two copies of four, three, and two copies of two, and again, there are two copies of number one here. And that'll be on F right there. All right, someone got D, that was Mr. Mr. Terror. Uh, Crimson Terror. What what was the first book that you claimed? Crimson Terror. Can you write down for me what is the first book that you claimed tonight? I thought you had something, but your pile is blank. Ah, I could have sworn you got something else. That's weird. All right. Um. Everybody, take a second. Like the video. It does go a long way. All right, how about a full run of the new Avengers 1 through 20, all from one original owner off the shelf, man. This is a pull list book right here from one guy. This didn't has not exchanged hands before, so $75 on that. As you may or may not know, that is riddled with keys, so you could have at it. Maria Hill, this, that, there's, there's a lot there. I also have two Dark Horse Cold War Predator runs. That'll be on A. And I actually think that that is the last of our bundles. I lied. There's this one. I forgot I got this in. I've been meaning to handle this. So here's what's tricky. 
This is Tyler Kirkham's run with image called Vice. And it's a bunch of variants of number one. There's also number two. There's number three, number four, number five. Um, I definitely wanted to move them as a bundle. Here's the thing that makes it hard to move. Every single copy is signed by Tyler Kirkham. So that is, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books, all signed by Tyler Kirkham. If I were to do $20 a book, you know, I could probably get, you know, 160, 150, but we're going to do $100 for eight signed books right there. Full run, multiple variants of number one. Every last book was signed by Mr. Kirkham back in the day. There you go, 100 bucks. All right, then we have. Those of you interested in a little Silver Age, uh, 132 from Thor. Ooh, I forgot to write what it is on the back. Can someone tell us what 132 is of Thor? It is low grade on I and 143, first team appearance of the Enchanters 3, first appearing of the Living Talisman, and that is mid grade. Crimson said, "I claimed before I saw the price." I, I'm thinking he's saying he doesn't he doesn't want that uh, that book anymore, the Daredevil. Crimson, are you undoing the Daredevil bundle? Please confirm. Zach says, first cameo of Ego." Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. But that's on I. And again, here, let me uh, beef up. I don't know what you're calling to see. I do have once again. A full run of Ren and Stimpy. $200. I'm not going to put it all up on the wall because it is a lot. All right, guys, please do not unclaim books. That's like a one-time allowance there. But this is going back up on the wall near Minty Fresh. First and second appearance of Echo. Be on C. On my YouTube channel, we have a zero tolerance policy for that. But we're a guest channel, so you get one. Next. Maze, uh, you know, we have a full wall. So let's go ahead and give this wall another minute or two. Mr. Joseph's going to claim it in its place. Gonna like the condition of that, Mr. Joe. Joe, try to get yourself to 10% off. Unless the seller wants to be chill. I, I have minimal chill. <laughs> Some, but minimal. All right, tell you what we're gonna do. Um I don't know. Um why don't I take the bundles down and we'll just proceed with everything else? Uh, you know what? Let's, um, why don't we do this? I've brought these predators to a couple claim sales now, so why don't we just make full runs of those $10? After all, I am in the business of getting stuff gone and sold, so let's do it. Ten dollars for these full runs. I'll even do it on C as well, even though C is a six parter. There you go. Ten bucks. All right. Next up, uh, more Silver Age. This one is mid to low grade. ASM Annual Four for fifteen. On H. Keeping it Spider Man for a second. We have. This is actually the Bry's comic. Shout out to Bry. Uh, first appearance of Renine. I can't read my own handwriting. Becomes the antagonist, Rabble. Miles Morales, number one. It is a key, and it is the variant exclusive to Bry's comics. 
And this is gorgeous. This thing might be a 9.8. Um, G. ASM one shot called the Riot at Robot World. And you know what? I thought I've seen it all. I've never seen that before, so that's pretty cool. And that will go on F. G is going to go. Let's throw up some Batman for you guys. Let's do a little Bronze Age. 236. Not a bad copy. Not near mint. May not even be very fine, but it's up there. G. F goes to Astro. Now, this is pretty cool. Watch this. Watch out for some of these Marvel tales. They reprint a lot of the Spider-Man stuff. This is actually the first reprint of the first appearance of Green Goblin. That will be on F. G is going to go to Celia. I also have the classic cover. Nick Cardi, gorgeous. Uh, it is mid-grade, 91. Look at that classic Batman and Black Canary left on the highway. Worst part about the book, we have a tear down there. Uh, it has a notable value, though, so we're still at 20 for that. That would be a G. Brave and the Bold, 91. I should also mention that F is near mid. I think I forgot to actually say that. Detective Comics 337. It is mid to low grade, but it's some 12 cent detective. And it's going to be on B for Batman. I also have. Uh, three ninety. I'm actually gonna lower this price. I have ten. I have fifteen dollars on it, but uh, it's gonna be ten. Fifteen cent Batman mid grade on A. It's issue number three ninety. Save that sticker. Uh, let's do another Marvel Tales. This is the first appearance of Scorpion. The first reprint of the first appearance of Scorpion. G. Celia's going to get, I think I already got that, so Celia's going to get A and B. Celia's a Batman head. All right, I got more Batman. I got uh, 290 and 300. And these things are, these things are near minty, Celia. And that's pretty crazy for uh, 70s, so there you go. Uh, keeping it Spider-Man, I have the death of Harry Osborn. Let's see, Astro's going to get F and G. Uh, let's do some Wolverine because, good lord, I have a lot of Wolverine. Uh, first appearance of LCD, second appearance of, appearance of Albert. Here's number 38, near mint. Number 60 is the first appearance of Kestrel, a.k.a. John Wraith, test subject of Weapon X. And I have a lot of those at my antique shop, so get them gone for me. Buff Joe's going to get B. And F is the bar back here. Nice. Uh, Celia got A. War Wolverine, 37 is the first appearance of Albert and LCD. This book really goes well with this book, 38. I probably should have put them up together. 
75, first bone claws, perfect condition. That'll be on B. Uh, F, G, goes to Mark E. And Mark E, um, thank you for adding to your pile. I think you already paid, but I'll double check. Um, so that means the invoice you get tonight is not going to be extra cost for shipping. It's since you've already paid that. Neely is going to get B. Right, give me a second. Uh, Mark E is going to get A. Oh my God! Yes, Wolverine is selling. Uh, actually, Wolverine sells well, but you know what I mean. I need to get this stuff gone. I have so much of it; it's ridiculous. One sixty-three. First appearance of Shiverman and Sick Cover. Forty-one. Cable versus Sabretooth. First appearance of Sabretooth in ten years. They like left them for dead or something ten years ago. So this is his debut back. Wolverine Classic, number 50. Solid $5 book. I'm doing it for four. Yay. Save a dollar, man. A newsstand copy of First Toddy McFarlane on Wolverine. I think I have more than that. Yes, I do. I have absurd amounts of Wolverine. Crimson's going to get that. I think we're caught up. Uh, actually, Mark E is going to get FG. And then Crimson's just a hair lately to that G, but that's okay. All right, then we're going. This book kind of went with that other one. Spider-Man, Punisher, Sabretooth. By the way, fun fact, are you aware that this is a $100 9.8? I don't know why, but what the heck? There you go. All right, then we have Wolverine 159, first appearance of Mr. X. Psychic Fascinated with Death, 2001. On G. Here you go, guys. Wolverine Origins, number 10, first appearance of Dawkins, son of Wolverine. That'll be on F. How's our glare on F tonight? Interestingly, this does not appear to be a Silver Age crowd, so I'm taking these back. Murder. Uh, this is a good time to sell this book because, my God, is this character popular? Let's see. I thought I had. Yep, I do. And four. Guys, I have the full run of the Rogue miniseries. These things look perfect. So you can have fun with a nice, absolutely killer condition set. Crimson's going to get G. F and H. Go to Brian. Unfortunately, H is gone. But you can get yourself an F. One second, sir. Cool. I is gone. Show it up in time to see Spidey leave the wall. Don't worry, I can put it back for you. It was... All right, I'll, I'll grab a little Spidey stack for you. It was Web of Spider-Man number one, which is literally just one dollar if anyone wants it. That'll be on H. Uh, and annual number four. You can think about that while we take a break.
in a world where you hit like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. That'd be really great. Thanks. There's something for every imagination at your local comic shop. Visit ComicShopLocator.com to find a store near you. Spider-Man wall. We have one random Wolverine up there, but everything else is Spider-Man at the moment. Spider-Man round. sure I got it all. Uh, I can't spend too much more time. All right, Spider-Man stuff. ASM book and record set. Unfortunately missing the record. There's only 20. And E, Spider-Man 3, the Sam Raimi movie prequel comic. Two, Spider-Man Storm and Power Pack. Battle the Smokescreen. This is an anti-drug issue right there. One shot. First appearance of Iron Cat. This thing is gorgeous right here. Technically, the first appearance of Venom in a cameo. If you know it, you know it. Web of Spider-Man 18. We'll just hit you with another one of these. Spidey 26. Kind of crazy that that was $3.50 in 1992. That's wild. Astro's going to get J. It's an F. Yeah, F goes to Niels. First appearance of Sinister Adaptoid and first appearance of the Living Brain. Number 900. Heavy on J. Spider Man 7, first appearance of Quantum. That's Miles Morales, by the way. If anyone wants to, I actually do have from a different collection a 9.8 of that sucker on my eBay. I think, ironically, Look how much of 9.8 adds value. This is $20. The 9.8 is $120. That's kind of crazy. Uh, Spider-Man and his amazing friends. New stand copy number one. First appearance of Firestar. G. 
we do have a full wall. Although that's a Wolverine when you get that angle. Uh, let's put up a near minty fresh copy of the first appearance of Spider Ham. Marvel Tales, Peter Porker, the Spectacular Spider Ham. On A. And let me just run some figures real quick. If I were to make an offer on the wall like this, I typically don't do that with Spider Man. Plus 5, plus 15, plus 20, plus 10, plus 6, plus 6, plus 15, plus 50, plus 20. All right, so there is $202 on the wall. I can't do too much craziness right here because, after all, there is, there's good stuff here, and it is Spider-Man. But I'll tell you what I will do. I will knock off $20. If you were to claim the whole wall. So that would mean that you'd be getting this book completely for free if you were to claim the whole wall. So why don't we run a timer at 60 seconds for that? Otherwise, we're going to get back to our sale. Uh, Chris Young is going to take the wall. So I'm just going to say this would be $0. Very nice. And Chris Young, I always reward people that claim walls. So guess what? You just got the second appearance of Deadpool for free as well. I don't even remember when I got that spider hand. That's, that, that's clean. All right. That was Chris Young, let me just make sure I got that right. Chris Young. Chris Young, go ahead, fill out the link. First name, last name, you know how to do it. All right, Rob, I promised you Silver Age Spidey. Looks like I just had one. <laughs> Classic right here. Uh, number 40. We do have some spine ticks. We have corner wear. The book's about a 4.5. We all see. I also have a near minty fresh, twenty ninety nine. That's the last Spider Man we're gonna do. We're gonna get back on track here. Let's do bigger stuff, like the second appearance of Black Panther, first appearance of Vibranium, uh, first appearance of Claw. This thing is a super loaded book. That's going to be $70 on B. I also have Silver Surfer, number one, classic. You DC heads, I did not forget about you. So let's do a round of some Bronze Age Phantom Stranger, which is some of my favorite stuff that exists. 25, 40, 39. These are in remarkable condition. That'll be on I. 38, 27. I think I have just enough to fill the wall. 37. And 41. If you want to see them up close, ask away. These things are so nice that they are gradable, which is my favorite type of Bronze Age stuff, which is the like near minty Bronze Age. It's just, it's another animal, man. Uh, and Brian's saying, I don't even want to mess around. I'm taking them all because you took them all. I'll give you one for free. I'm also going to take this to my antique shop. Rob said, let me see, see up close. Got it.
All right. Start at the bot, and we'll go down. Book is complete. I have checked. See. All right, then we have Robocop 2. I somehow missed this in my bundles. I do have the full movie adaptation bundle here. This thing is sharp as can be, near minty fresh. I have one of these at practically every claim sale. I charge $3 on all X Men number ones, but I always charge 5 on near mint magneto covers and wraparound covers. She-Hulk number one, first appearance of Mallory, the lawyer, I forget her name, but there it is, 2004. Fantastic Four, 247, first appearance of Christoph Bernard, newsstand. Let's see if Chartmaster is with us, that'll be on I. I got some 10 centers for you. A little Lulu and a Casper. Put them on G and F. Another movie adaptation. We have Cool World. Who remembers that? It's just five. I'll put another 10 center in its place. We have some new funnies. And then we have, check this out. First appearance of Tim Andrews, Iron Man 182. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like nine copies of the first Tim Andrews. I'm doing that for three bucks. Let's get them gone. They are super, super sharp, but doesn't matter. I have too many duplicates. Let's get them going. Nope's going to take J. Another 10 center. F will be a 10 center spot. I have a little bit of a Lone Ranger issue number 82, 1955. Venture Comics 361, first appearance of the Dominators. 12 cent, $10 right there. Das, pretty good. I actually have a spot on O. Put it there. I'll bring these back out. I have a bunch of these. These are the rare DC variants of Flash number zero. Condition on, uh, actually, if I put these on O, are they going to survive? Uh, it's a little. I think I forgot why I don't use this part of the wall. They're a little precarious on there, so get them gone. They'll be down there on, oh, Astro's going to get that. When asked about condition on I, it's a very fine. And I'll put another 10 center on F. Actually, this one's not so bad. Gunsmoke. Uh, Lee Markowitz is going to get J, and somewhere around here, there's a Lee Markowitz pile, actually. Let's find it. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, Lee, do me a favor. What books did you get over the weekend? If you can remember any of them, just let me know. I could have sworn you got some. I might not just be finding the file on time, so I'll just be right here. I feel like I can even picture the book you got too. Schools in the center. Alright, I'm gonna have to look for your second pile somewhere after the show. I honestly don't know where that is. Uh, oh. Brian slip one in the pile. Next. Uh, debut of the Cersei's new costume, first appearance of the Gatherers, Avengers 355. Three. I'll put another 10 center on F. Careful, this one's a bit more expensive there. Um, and that's really mainly just because of the condition. This thing is clean as can be, painted cover from a more popular run to more popular now. It wasn't so popular then. Uh, and I have another 10 center. This one's uh, older and a little bit rougher. 1950, five zero, ten bucks. Beyond Jay. You guys want to do me a favor? Start getting some of those A's gone for me. That's what I need. Done. That's what has to go. Joker means a price. And you know what? I think I saw that this is on the Hot list. Uh, X Men 213. Not only classic cover, but uh, first cameo of Mr. Sinister. Everyone forgets that. Betsy Braddock joins X Men and adopts the name Psylocke. I don't know why this book hasn't done more or longer, but that's going to be on D. A and F. I'm going to go to Mr. Campbell. Lou is going to take that D. And Ty Lou, I'll be shipping out with your previous pile, which means no extra shipping costs. So try to get a couple more books in your pile to save on that shipping. Uh, claim I and A says Crimson. Gawa is going to take D. Very nice. Um, in its place, I'll put some Marvel Legacy number one, which not only is a key, but this is one of the more desirable Scotty Youngs. I have two of them parked on D, Marvel Legacy, number one. 
Hey, James, that one that Mark claimed? Near Mint Minerals. Here's a Hulk 400 for you. Did I hear something? Did yeah, that D was an old claim. B, which B? The D that uh, you just pulled from Mark. He wanted the X-Men that Ty got. Oh, okay. Mark, go ahead and uh, refresh your page because that was a little while ago. So you might be a little, you might be lagging. Um, and actually, that's going to go back on D. Brian's going to get both of the Scotties. Dave Cockham X-Men. The funny thing is, I don't even know X-Men well enough to even answer that. Uh, then we have Annihilation, Death of Annihilus, Philavel assumes control of the Quantum Bands, first cameo of Annihilus number two. The only problem is my sticker fell off, so I have no idea what this should be selling for. Is it like a $50 book? Is it a $3 book? Let's do a search. Annihilation number six. It is a $10 book. Do I have a $10 sticker floating around here? Here, you know what? Yes. Aha, I do. All right, again, Philavel takes control of the bands. First, Annihilus. Two, Death of Annihilus. One. There you go. H is just a Hulk 400. Anniversary with foil cover from the 90s. We'll put another 10 center on F. Cisco Kid. By the way, G is a 10 center. We do have a full wall, so let's see if we can get some stuff gone. I think I'm going to bring that to the antique shop. That's going to go in the bundle pile. You know what, Astro, you bought for me enough. That book is free. There you go. Uh, GTX is going to get I. Rob L. says claim C for 65. Second attempt, I did not see that. Um, Rob, if you got more books than just the one, I would probably say yes. You know what? I'm still going to say yes. Try to grab a couple more, make it worth it for you and me, but I will get you squared away with that 65. I think that's a fair, fair offer. Uh, so... Uh, cool. All right. Uh, then we have bubble wrap everywhere. Uh, two copies. Nope. Three copies of the first appearance of Victor Zaz, first Amadeus Arkham. Uh, on C. And we have get into these. All right, we have three copies, excuse me, four copies of the negative UPC variant of an X Force number one. And one of them is the negative UPC variant with the cable card. Two shoes gets a C. Uh, Tara's going to say claim a C. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, 
first appearance of Seer L, the Supergirl created by Brainiac. I got five on B. We got a Batman Fortnite. Two shoes gets a B. We do have a full wall. Can we get some of the light stuff going? Maybe, maybe the Hulk uh, 400. Let's get that up and out of here. We still have only had one claim on O, the uh, rare variant of Flash. Chris says A H. Let me read that right. A H C. A H C. V. And I. What? Crimson gets an O. Here. Amazing Spider Man, just a one shot. Gorgeous condition. H. Another one shot Spider Man and Doctor Strange. Complete switch. We have Haunted Mansion number one. First adaptation of Haunted Mansion in comics. It's about a $20, $25 book, believe it or not. I'm doing it for $15. All right. Hey, what's been up here for a second? Uh, I think I'm going to take down the many, many, many copies of Iron Man. I'm going to take down. Ah, uh, dude, am I really about to take down a near mini Spider Man 2099? Who remembers in COVID this was a $30, $40 book? Isn't that crazy? Now it doesn't even sell at $10. That's a little sad, actually. I don't like that. All right. Um, I'll put some more vintage stuff because that's actually doing pretty well. Here's some 10 centers Roy Rogers and Trigger. And here is something really unique. The Wonder Book of Rubber from 1958. Yes, they're trying to get kids really interested in rubber. And what's really weird is the fact that there's two of them. I have them both. So you can claim A, you'll get one of the Wonder Books of Rubber. I actually really like those weird information style things like here's how banks work that they would release in the 50s. I think that stuff's super weird and fun. Uh, Mikey, you're going to get the one that was sitting on top. Uh, H and I. Go to Chris. Oh, how's our time? Oh, yeah, we're after. We are already. After nine, last move here. Uh, first appearance of Lord Drakken, twenty seventeen. Power Rangers number nine. Wow, cool. There you go. I. Uh, two copies of Young Justice number one. First appearance of Young Justice. And your minties. That is so interesting that you say that, Ariel. I actually just got a collection in. Unfortunately, nothing's priced and processed. 
So it probably will still be a week before I can actually get it up to a claim sale. But I got like a stack like that big of foreign stuff. It's pretty cool. G is going to go to Astro. So yes, I actually have some foreign stuff. I also have, just like the rubber book, a train informational called Rails Across America. Crimson gets an H, so does Wild Man. other cheapies I have. For you. I actually do have a Wonder Woman number seven George Perez classic near minty newsstand boys. First appearance of Barbara Minerva Cheetah. Also because I don't want to have to keep bringing X-Forces to claim sales. Again guys these are not just X-Force number ones. These are all the negative UPC variants. I'm already pricing them below. I usually put X-Force number ones at four. I'm now just doing them for three, and we'll make the cable card UPC variant six. There you go. I need to get those gone. Neely's going to get Barbara Minerva. Claim up those apps, get those gone for me, please. Anything I have duplicates of, I'm very interested in getting gone. Like B, like O, like F. Really popular book, 350 of X-Men. Who freaking knew how valuable this stuff was? I just sold one of these for $160 in a 9.8. I was shocked. I thought it would be like a $50 or $60 book. Nope. So, I don't know. I can't guarantee a 9.8, but that thing is pretty sharp. Mr. Crumb's going to get an F. From uh, terror. Ryan got EFG. And guys, you know what? Let's take a commercial break, and we'll be back. Order Battle Quest Comics at your local comic shop today. Did you know that Arthur, King of the Britons, and Monty Python and the Holy Grail was played by a famous Graham? Check out another famous Graham by following our Instagram.
the one you said just sold with the foil gambit on it. Yeah, uh, they're they're a shocker for sure. Um, I'm just gonna for a second. Let's get rid of uh, that. Yeah, sorry guys, I had to sit down for a second. Um, haunted mansion. Let's put it down. All right, so we basically we've got some vintage up on the top. Any more vintage? Wow, guys! I think I'm out of my golden age. That's kind of crazy. I am out of golden age. That was literally the last I had of it. That's pretty wild. Okay, let's do a round of some more affordable stuff. Totally random. Comet Man number one. The classic zombie Archie Diamond Comic Distributors variant. Afterlife with Archie. Manhunter. First appearance of the Cult of Manhunters. First appearance of the Manhunter Grandmaster. And Mark Shaw. And I don't know why the nose is doing that, but there you go. Uh, first appearance of Starman, the blue skinned alien warrior. First appearance of Codename Assassin. Uh, then we have some notable newsstand 80s reprints, like this first reprint of the first ever Bronze Age book, like this first reprint of Supergirl, like this first reprint of JLA. First, Black Suit Superman, Action 689. Let's do something real affordable. Near Minty, though, you know, first star brand from the new universe. Three dollars. I have three of them. First reprint of Swamp Thing. I have a Deadpool number one Funko variant. H and J, Wild Man, since you have been a long time buyer of mine, check this out. Boom. Since they're all first issue specials, I'm glad you're getting them. Brian is going to get B. A, C, First appearance of the Injustice League. Justice League International issue 23. First demolition team newsstand copy. It is not near minty though. Last son of Krypton becomes the Eradicator. That is near minty. Man, speaking of reprints, look at this. We, we got the reprints right now. Look, first reprint of 
Fantastic Four, first reprint of X-Men. Did you get my claim for A? Uh, I did get the claim for A. Two Shoes is going to claim the wall. So let's give them a free book. How about the biggest book on the wall for free? That actually might have been stupid, but I'm glad, I'm glad you got it anyway. There you go. Always make it worthwhile if you claim a whole wall. Uh, nope says I will take the Ren and Stimpy bundle. Uh, that is fine. Nope. I just have to uh, Get a little creative With how I'm actually gonna ship that to you. I think you're gonna have to be shipped out in a uh, short box Which is which is fine Ren and Stimpy. Actually, remember where I got that from. That guy was weird. Okay, uh, then we have Doom Patrol number three, Newsstand. First cameo, Laidstone. And I have a free book underneath it, and it's actually a newsstand as well. It'll be on D for Doom Patrol. Uh, a very particularly gruesome death. Of Mysterio, notable for the darkness of the issue. I do have one remaining copy of the Ashcan Digest sized first appearance of the Scientific Man. This is the Comic Con exclusive of Umbrella Academy. H. Captain Marvel 125. You know what? Can anyone do a quick search for me? I forgot to write this one on the back. Captain Marvel 125. Can you tell me what this book is? This is the variant, so it won't look like this. But it's a Captain Marvel 125. If you can tell me what that is, that would be great. Here's a near minty cloak and dagger number one. Sure. Interested in slightly bigger stuff? I do have an Iron Man 100 classic cover, an anniversary issue. Obsessed has taken it. Look, the curiosity is going to kill me, so I actually am going to look it up. Captain Marvel 125. Let's find out what this is. Uh, Key Collector calls it $18. Interesting. Uh, notable because it's a Hulk 1 homage. I wonder if that's all it is. May just be that that's the key significance there. Uh, I goes to Chris. I have tried to pawn this off at a couple claim sales now. Um, I've dropped it as low as I can possibly go. This is down to the price I paid for it. This is a bundle of Adam books. So it's 34, 20, 13. If you don't know, I made those for free. So that's just, that, that's for free. Then I have the first appearance of Kronos, the big bad villain to Adam. And that thing is really nice. And the first Adam number one, first appearance of the Floronic Man, Plant Master, as he's earlier called here. And this was like $450. I, 
I lowered it to 300 bucks. So I can't go lower, but if someone wants it, take it. Have fun with it. Actually, someone did just take it. Very nice. Brian, your box is completely full. So I actually don't think we can even fit another book in there. And I did get your shipping label, sir, for the two bigger boxes that I'm going to be shipping out. Hopefully tomorrow. I do have to work at the antique shop tomorrow. And the only way I can get those boxes out is through the popcorn packers. And unfortunately, they open at 10. So I might not be able to get those shipped out tomorrow. Those might actually have to wait a day. All the USPS stuff, they open at 8 around here, so I can get those out, no problem. I'll take a look at it and see uh, what we're dealing with. Uh, but you, your box is filled to the brim, sir. So I think you're tapped right now, unless you just want to start another file, which is totally fine. Never want to discourage that. Hey, my phone's on 5% battery. Action Comics 592, first appearance and origin of Sleaze. Newsy. There you go. Young Avengers, number four and five. These are both classic covers. Uh, interestingly, five is the first appearance of a third vision and first partial cover of Kate Bishop. Four is basically a classic Kang cover. I've got them both here. They are near mint. Uh, if you go on Key Collector, it says something ridiculous. I think it calls them like $40, $50 books. It ain't real. Uh, that's more like what they go for. Justin's going to go see. I have one, two, three copies of the first appearance of Equinox. Son of Power Girl. Zero Hour. Number zero. And I also have the first appearance of Jack Knight. Unless maybe I don't. Oh, yeah, here it is. Two copies of those on E, zero hour number one. Jack Knight is Starman. He went on to have a huge, long vertigo run. I do not understand why that book is not more valuable. Let's see. One's going nearly to left. Wild Man takes a C and E. Cool. I do have the marriage of Luke Cage and Jessica Jones. Why is my, my brain just froze? Completely froze. I'm sorry. Yeah, it is Jessica Jones. Oh my god. D is going to go to Chris. Give me one second. One second. Chris, you got a healthy pile here. Healthy pile for sure. Ooh. All right. Oh, you know what, guys? I'm so sorry. I had no idea. We are actually out of time. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Crimson's going to get E. And you grabbed two C's for Neely. He just wanted the one, so Crimson can get that other C if he wants it. Okay, perfect. Their piles are next to each other, so I actually just whoosh. Um, been away from home for almost three months. Looking forward to seeing my wife and Lazy Boy Recliner. Yeah, I bet, dude. Okay, we are over time. I gotta say goodbye, so I love you guys. This was a pretty fast-paced claim sale here. Whew! Um, that wild man, that's the marriage of Luke Cage and Jessica Jones. I will see you all later, unless a claim comes in in the next two seconds. We'll see. All right. Love you all. Have a good night. Join the party. Head over to our link tree to find all the links for everywhere the experience is all the time.